So, you made an awesome menu, but when your friend opened it on his computer, everything was in the wrong place. Not a problem. If you want your menu to look correct across all resolutions, you have to make sure that your canvas is set to scale with screen size and set match to 0.5. From here, you might have noticed the little triangle things that appear next to every button or text object. Those are your anchors, and they control how things look when the screen resolution is changed. Now, there are two different ways to use them. They can focus on position or proportion. Let me demonstrate position first. If we create three different buttons up here, how do you determine where to set the anchor? Well, the easiest way I know is to go into each button, click here, and click the one that is closest to the general position of the button. So this one is closest to the top left of the screen, this one is closest to the top, and this button is closest to the top right. And now if you test changes in the resolution, you will find that the content automatically adjusts to fit whatever new dimensions you give it. So that is position-based anchoring. Now let's talk about proportion based anchors instead. Let's duplicate the three buttons down here. But instead of using the quick menu to set the anchors, let's manually drag the anchors around the corners of each button. All right, now you're technically done, but I want you to see the differences. If we adjust the resolution now, you can see both the top and the bottom are gonna try and adjust, but they do it in different ways. The position anchors always keep their proportion. They may shrink or grow, but the shape generally doesn't change. However, the proportion anchors change shape, and because of that, they never overlap each other and always take up the same amount of screen space. So you can decide which you prefer. Generally, if you need something to stay the same shape like a picture or a number, probably use position. Otherwise, if you're okay with the adjust in shape, I would use proportion. The last thing that I wanted to show you was where you can place the anchor depends on the size of the parent. So if I create a new empty object and I wanna use it to hold three buttons, you'll notice when I try and adjust the button anchors, it won't let me go beyond here. And that is because the size of the parent. If I increase the size of the parent and place the parent anchors around Around that size, the button anchors will be free to move anywhere in that new area. This is really useful when you have groups of UI elements and you want to make sure that they stay in their respective area. So anyway, that is how you take care of different screen size stuff. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. I'm a fan.